Jacob Burton here from StellaCulinary.com. In this video, we're going to be making some herb roasted potatoes, which is an easy, simple side dish uh, that everyone really, really enjoys and goes with just about anything. So here I have some red potatoes I'm going to cut in half lengthwise, place in a pot, and cover with cold water. Place that pot on a high flame, bring to a simmer, and once a knife goes in and out showing me that the potatoes are fairly tender, I'm going to drain off that boiling water and then cover the potatoes with cold tap water. And that's just to uh, cool them down to room temperature, but it's not really necessary to, to shock them uh, like in traditional blanching. Now, the reason why you start with cold water is because there's more complex starches in root vegetables like potatoes and carrots, uh, so it's just going to cook them more evenly than if you were to start with boiling water. Now, once you've cooled the potatoes to about room temperature, uh, place in a large mixing bowl, uh, douse with a little bit of your favorite cooking oil. You can use canola, safflower, grapeseed, whatever you like. And then here I'm just seasoning with salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. Now, I'm using red potatoes, but you could really use fingerlings, gold potatoes, new potatoes. Uh, anything around this size will do just fine. Now, once you've seasoned and oiled the potatoes, place them on a sheet tray, and it's really important that you f take the time to flip them all uh, cut side down. And this is going to give you a nice, even golden brown color uh, when the potatoes are roasting. Place in a 400 degree oven for about uh, anywhere from 45 to 60 minutes, but more importantly, until they're done, until they're golden, crispy, uh, and they uh, are have a tender texture on the inside. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to go through and uh, chop up some fresh herbs. This is just a, a mixture of herbs that I had in my uh, garden because it's summertime. Uh, but you can use basil, parsley, sage, uh, rosemary. All this works nice. Throw in a couple cold pats of butter into uh, the mixing bowl. Now here you can see our potatoes after about 50 minutes have a golden brown crust uh, that's going to give it a nice texture. But because we blanched them, all we're really concerned about here is giving them a good golden brown color because technically they're already cooked all the way through. Place the potatoes right on top of the herb and butter mixture, and as you toss it, the uh, residual heat left over from the roasted potatoes are going to coat the potatoes in a nice herb and butter sauce. It's absolutely delicious. Now, from here, go ahead and just arrange on a plate, and uh, any of that herb juice and butter that's uh, at the bottom of that bowl, make sure you scrape that out and spoon it right over the top. Now, again, this can be served with just about anything, but on this night, I served it with a uh, pan-roasted ribeye, uh, which I have a separate video on. So if you're curious on how we pan-roast our ribeye and make an accompanying sauce to go along with it, uh, go ahead and click the thumbnail in the top right-hand corner of your screen, or you can check out this episode's show notes at stellaculinary.com slash CT19.